Welcome to the Merch Minds Podcast, where we discuss everything about the merch by Amazon business in the print-on-demand industry. Here are your hosts, Glenn and Young. Are you coming up short on design ideas? Are you tired of going back and forth with your designer on Upwork and Fiverr? Well, I have a solution for you. DesignCandy.io, they're a professional design agency that offers quality shirt designs for just $10 a pop. You don't have to worry about with coming up with niche ideas. All you have to do is just pay the monthly subscription of $20, and then the designs are just $10 each. I personally use them. I like the designs. I use the designs. And you know what? You get top quality customer service. So if you want some good quality designs, head over to designcandy.io right now. Mention Merch Minds, and you'll get two free designs when you sign up. Merch Informer is the number one research program for merch by Amazon. You can do niche research by BSRs, keywords, and even by merchant brand names at your fingertips. You can explore historical data to see exactly what strategies the top sellers are using to succeed. Merch Informer was designed to help streamline your research process and help organize your ideas. Head over to merchinformer.com for a free three-day trial, and after that, it's just $19.99 per month. Use the coupon code MERCHMINDS for 15% off the entire order. <laughs> are we live? Merch Minds Podcast, episode number 57. We are live, Young, in the flesh. Hello, my man. How are you? I'm doing good. And uh, we have some uh, people in the chat coming in. So we'll shout out some people, say hi to everybody once uh, everybody kind of comes in. We'll wait a little while and we get more watchers and everything. So uh, we have a big show today talking about Amazon royalty changes for next year, 2018. And I have a little true or false that I'm going to play with Young. He can kind of answer some of these questions and see what he thinks about these hey, royalty you, changes. You didn't, you didn't tell me all this, man. You yeah. got to give me those notes in advance. All of a sudden, now you want to play little games? Hey, when you're on the Hustler Hacks YouTube channel, you have no clue what's going to happen. And that's the way the people like it. So... Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about that. But first, Young, you have a couple of, uh, I guess, some news you want to talk about, right? Yeah. So one thing that I uh, uh, that I did the other day, and you didn't even know that I was going to do this. Yeah. Um, actually, it was yesterday. I created a new group, okay? Now, before people start, oh, my God, there's another group. Here's the thing. This group's a little different, Okay. So yesterday, I got five messages on Facebook from people talking about, hey, can I post my, 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 uh, my product or my services in Merch Minds Facebook group? And, you know, normally I don't mind, right? But now it's getting to the point where I just can't keep up, right? Yeah. I mean, every other day, there's something new, right? There's, there's the Merch Maid, uh, the Merch Milk. The merch porn, the <laughs> merch this, the merch that. I can't keep up, man. I, it's like every other day there's some new product or service coming up. And again, you know, I'm, you know, if, if something works, I'm all for it, but I just can't keep up. And it's becoming like, and I was just telling you, you know, before the show, the Facebook groups, they're becoming like Craigslist almost, right? Yeah, people selling random stuff. I don't know what. Yeah, and you know, and, and and you know what? I think I speak on behalf of all the Facebook groups out there. You know, Chris Green, uh, the Jersey guys, Ken Real, Merch University. You know, let's keep those groups. You know, for what it is, which is to help people, right? If you're selling a product or a service, again, I'm all for it. You know, as long as it pertains to what we're doing. Um, so I started this new group. So if you have a product or a service that you want to sell. Just go to Merch Classifieds, post them on there. Um, it's just, again, it, the, the the groups are just getting too, it's, it's getting crazy, man. It's, it's um, again, merch so. Merch uh, Classifieds. Yeah. Um, and, um, and here's the thing, okay? Um, I'm trying to keep spammers out of that group. So when you, when you uh, hit join, there are two questions that you have to answer. They're simple questions, okay? Let me say that again. There's two questions you guys have to answer. Let me say that one more time because some <laughs> people don't kind of – they don't get that concept, okay? There's two simple questions you have to answer. That way I know you're a real person, okay? Normally the spammers, they don't like to answer questions and stuff like that. I want to know that you're the real deal. Um, 
So if you answer those questions, I'll, I'll add you into the group. And whatever product or service you guys have that pertains to what we're doing, uh, just go ahead and uh, post them in the group. Um, yeah, that group's going to turn into like a spam fest. That's fine. You know what? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, I don't want to see stuff like, uh, uh, oh, I'm trying to raise $5,000 for my, uh, my sick cat. That's not going to fly in the group. If you have something that pertains to what we're doing, again, you guys can feel free to post it in there. But I just don't want to see that kind of stuff in the group anymore, man. I'll be honest with you. I mean, yeah, it's some, you know, in the future, if we find something that we think is, is, is valuable, you know, we'll, we'll plug it in the group. But in general, I just don't want to see that kind of stuff anymore. And I'm just sick and tired of getting messages from random people. Yeah. All right. So let's see what happens. Uh, merch classifieds go there. And um, you can uh, answer two simple questions, and you're good to go there. Um, live chat, Ballerman and Casey. What's up, Aaron? Um, Sarah, good to see you too. Kelly and Casey. Did I already mention Casey? Pingu the Penguin. He's also here. So um, pretty good people here in the chat. So if you want to, I guess, put in any questions right now on the chat, um, uh, you can uh, put that regarding merch by Amazon. So... This uh, this show is, is not related to uh, eBay. This is more for uh, merch by Amazon. So we're going to be talking about the royalty changes that's coming up in 2018. Young, do you want to talk yes, about your numbers? How much you're doing yeah. this week? Yeah, before we do that, um, again, you didn't know this. <laughs> what the heck? I, I had scheduled uh, Kevin and Anthony to come on this week's show. Mm hmm so, so I just want to apologize to those guys because I had postponed them for next week now. Because normally you and I record the show later in the week, but because of the holiday, we're kind of off the schedule, right? This is yeah, really yeah. this is really early for us. Yeah. Uh, so I just want to apologize to those guys. Um, um, I told I told uh, Anthony I think he cussed me out or something, but uh, <laughs> um, it's all good, man. We're still friends. But numbers the last seven days, <sighs> man. You know, for some reason I thought the numbers would be so much better. But it's still not great, right? Okay. Last seven days, 90 sales um, for a total royalty of $580.98. Okay. Uh, what is it right now? It's just a little past 3.30 here in California. Um, and so far for the day, I have eight. So it's, it's been really weird the last few days, like where the day would just start off on fire, right? Like yeah. every 30 minutes, I would get a sell, and then by the afternoon, it just stops. <laughs> so, like, and today was one of those days where, like, the morning it just it, it, it was hot and then it stopped. Yeah. Well, it's so, four I, times, so, I don't so. know. Yeah. And then uh, uh, tomorrow's obviously Thanksgiving, and then uh, we got Black Friday, and then we have Cyber Monday. Um, so, hopefully, um, I'm going to say, you know, I'm 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 going to be in good spirits. I know my numbers are going to be good on Friday, um, but I think even last year, if I recall, like um, even before Black Friday, my numbers were pretty decent. Yeah, but, I mean, you're still on track to make like over a little bit over two grand this month, right? I mean, yeah, no, I'll probably do about anywhere between twenty five to twenty eight hundred. Again, we'll see how how um, Black Friday turns out. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, what about Etsy and uh, oh yeah, Etsy yeah, doing? yeah. Etsy. Um, you know, I had a bunch of sales come in the other day, and they all have been fulfilled. And then I haven't had any sales the last couple of days. It's weird. Um, and I don't remember if I mentioned the second account that I'm now working with a partner. Okay. Oh, yeah, you did I mention that? Okay, yeah, I did. did. Okay. Okay. Um, so for those of you guys that that's that's just tuning in, and you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I partnered up with a local friend who has a merch account, um, but he's um, he's been buying his designs, and um, he basically said, "Look, I'm just sick and tired of spending money on designs. Let's partner up." Um, um, and the good thing is, he's on the 500 tier, so I've been working on that. Um, no sales yet, um, as far as um, my designs, but it's only been a couple of days, so we'll see. Okay. All right. But yeah, so Etsy's been relatively slow. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. All right. Uh, with Etsy, I actually sold like two products the other day. So that's right. Yeah, it's kind of getting there. 
Um, <laughs> I just have to put, of course, way more effort, effort into that. I only have like 30 products or something. So it was kind of cool though. I mean, to see it, um, to see it, I guess, kind of, uh, growing a little bit, but like I said, I have to put more effort. The other one, the, uh, second account, uh, I did tear up from 10 to 25 now. And uh, I'm glad to see tear ups are still happening because I know on the, on the, I guess the front page or whatever they're saying they probably weren't going to tear anybody up. Good thing, uh, we are tearing up a little bit. So I went up ten to twenty five. Now I have some slots open to play with, and then my regular account I'm at uh, one hundred and seventy two products sold, estimated royalties eight hundred and thirty dollars and five cents. Damn. Yeah, so it's 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 growing a little bit. I really just want to get back to like the thousand uh, per every seven days because I I mean four grand a month. I, I mean no complaints there, but I'd have to grow it. It's still it's still getting there, and I know January is going to be slower. And then now we have this royalty change, so I think at the end of the year, me and you definitely have to do a show for the podcast talking about what we're gonna do about next year like 2018 how are you going to approach merch what are some of the changes you should be doing in your merch business because i think i'm actually going to approach it differently now um with this royalty change like i think it really did do something different so is that something you you, is that something you want to talk about today or or maybe just uh later on yeah today just strictly about the royalty change and maybe some things that people can you know can cannot do what they should do but as sure. far as like 2018 goals, and I think the way you should approach merch, I think we should probably do that in another another show. Okay. Um, but let's talk about our main issue here, royalties. Now, I think 2014, they started off with, um, they did have a royalty change. It was kind of, I guess it was a, it was a little change, right? It was minor. But yeah, it wasn't It was it a wasn't minor change. This one, though... Uh, is totally different. I mean, we saw this coming. I figured, yeah, we're going to get another royalty change. I don't know when. But this one, I was a little bit more shocked when it came to, like, the percentage-wise. I mean, we're talking about, like, 25 30% change. Um, so this was a little different. Uh, should I read, first off, what the update says? <laughs> yeah, read it, because I don't have it in front of me. Okay, so... This was on November 17th, and it says, we have seen an increase in the cost to merch, uh, to support merch, including storage, fulfillment, transportation, raw materials, customer service, and the resources required to detect and prevent fraud. As a result, we will be adjusting the royalty on merch by Amazon products. This change will take effect uh, for sales of all new and existing products starting January 15th, a day right after my birthday. If your product... Oh, is- you just had to sneak that in there, huh? <laughs> you you was, just had to sneak it in there. It was like a low blow because it's like, oh, man, excited birthday. And then, oh, now the royalties are going down the next day. <laughs> if your product is priced below the new minimum price, it will automatically uh, uh, be updated to the minimum price, which they show examples. So they're examples, $15.99, $17.99. Uh, when I first read this, I thought, okay, well, maybe the minimum is $15.99, and that's not the case. This is just showing examples of what your royalties could look like. Oh, see, that's what I thought it was, too. I thought those are examples. Yeah, they're just examples. So they actually don't even tell you what the minimum price is going to be. Okay. It kind of reads like that, right? When you read it and you see the chart right after that. Well, that's the way I saw it. Okay. Yeah, me too. Um, So they say... Okay, standard pricing right now. As of right now, if you have a shirt that's $19.99, you'll be making $7.19. But January 15th rolls around. Instead of $7.19, you're going to be making $5.38. Wow. Um, Yeah, so a big change compared to the other update that we had in 20. 16 which is last year did i say 2014 i think i meant 2016 i think you did say 2014 man yeah. what are you like you have a time machine <laughs> yeah 2016 so we're talking about 1999 shirt that's a 25 percent decrease in your royalty so now you're at five dollars and 38 cents uh, <laughs> yeah that's 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 a huge chunk 
Uh, the thing that I was kind of, like I said, I wasn't shocked that they were doing this decrease. I was more shocked at how much they were actually decreasing from you. Because at this rate, you know, by the year 2020, uh, oh, 1999 dude, we, 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 will be down dude, to, like, scraps. Oh, dude, we'll be down to pennies, man. It'd be like a sweatshop. <laughs> It'd be like an Amazon, merch by Amazon uh, sweatshop. We'll be yeah, looking for pennies. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. I was like, man, I mean, that's a huge decrease. Yeah, no, that's, that's I mean, $2, that's a lot of money. Well, well, so here's the thing. So you and I actually did talk about this um, privately when we first saw the dashboard. And um, I mean, just like everyone else, I was pissed. I was frustrated. But, you know, this is something that we've been talking about ever since we started doing the podcast. Like we always said, you know, Amazon's going to make changes. You know, it's their, it's their platform. And, you know, uh, that's why you need to... Uh, have multiple streams of income, yada, da 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 da. You know that we, we've always said that. Yeah, I was more. See, I thought they were going in the route. Like if I would, like if I was a betting man, like I, I, I would have put my money on that. They would have implemented like a monthly fee, kind of like like Solo Central FBA. You know yeah. how we pay forty dollars a month mm -hmm. to have a professional account. I thought that's the route that they were going to go. I didn't realize that we were going to hit with royalties that hard. So I was really shocked when I saw that. Yeah, I think that they still might even go the fulfillment route with $40 oh, per month. Um, oh, yeah. No, in fact, I, I'm going to predict it right now. Uh, I think the next big change, uh, uh, probably within a year, um, they're going to implement that monthly charge. I, I can, I, I'm, I'm putting good money on that. Yeah, they'll they'll eventually do that too. That'll probably be the next one. I really don't see them decreasing this more. I mean, I mean they can maybe they the following can. year, but I think that's probably the next um, the next step they're going to probably do is is definitely the monthly fee or something like that. Mm -hmm. And see, and, and here's the thing: when they implement the monthly fee, yeah, and this and and, and this is and this is and this is um, it's a good thing, and I will tell you why. Okay. It's gonna, it's gonna, um, for the people who's just in it to try and make a fast buck and they're doing shady stuff. Um, they're the ones that's gonna get really frustrated, right? Because they're doing shady stuff. They're, they're, they're trying to cut corners. Um, they're not making any money, and when they implement that monthly fee, right? And so now they gotta pay forty bucks, and they're not really making any money yet. And then they're gonna get frustrated, and then they're just gonna leave. Yeah. So I think when they implement that monthly fee, um, I think a lot of people, um, we're going to have a lot of people who just get discouraged and, and um, leave merch. And then it'll leave, leave you know, people like you and I who take it seriously, um, you know, less competition for us. And, and I think things will get better again. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah. No, I think, I think that's, I think that's a really, really good point. And I definitely think that's going to happen too. And before I get into our true or false thing that we're going to try to, you know, stump Young a little bit, uh, let's break down to some of the stuff that they said. So an increase in cost to support merch, including storage, which number one, storage, we kind of figured this because they added long sleeves. That's obviously going to take more room than short sleeve. Plus, if they do eventually add hoodies and whatever else they're adding on, they're they're gonna need the storage space for it, so that mm -hmm. I think was understandable, right? So it makes sense, of course. Uh, what about fulfillment? What do you mean? Well, what they're talking, they're saying that I mean the increase in cost to support merch includes storage, which we're okay. Fulfillment, transportation. Well, well they're probably gonna have to hire more employees, buy more machines, uh, get into more warehouses, and that all costs money, right? Raw materials? Uh, what the hell's what? raw materials? You know what? That's probably ju they're just fancy way of saying uh, uh, T-shirts. <laughs> they're making right? shirts by hand. Yeah, I told I told <laughs> you, man. It's a sweatshop now, man. <laughs> um, but but here's the thing. I, here's the thing. And I saw I saw a lot of comments in the groups and forums, and people were frustrated. They were pissed. Here's the thing, right? Look, I I, I was pretty upset too. But at the end of the day. And this, and this is and, and this is what I said. I was like, look, yeah, it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, if it means that they, um, even though we're taking a loss on on the royalties, if they, in the near future, let's say, uh, um, 
give us hoodies and sweatshirts and tank tops. Even though we're taking a loss in the royalties, we now have more products. Therefore, we sell more, mm -hmm. and we can make up the difference that way. Right. Yeah, we just don't know when they're going to roll all these products out. Exactly. Um, I, you know, someone posted in the group yesterday. Um, I guess he was in there trying to upload his, you know, daily minimum, and for a split second, there was the option to select hoodies. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. So I think it might be coming soon if that's okay. the case. Um, but yeah, it's, it's frustrating, but it's a cost of doing business. You have to think it that way. And again, my thought process is, yeah, we're taking a huge hit, but if you get more products from Amazon, we can make up the difference, right? Again, by, 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 by selling hoodies now and, and sweatshirts and, and tank tops and maybe mugs in the near future, who knows? Yeah. Um, so you have to, so you have to look at it that way. I mean, we're taking a loss now, but we'll make it the difference somehow. And let's see about, and I think it's going to be interesting too. Once like there's new products there on as far as like your, your tier level and stuff. Cause what if you're, you know, you're at a hundred, you can only do a hundred products or a hundred shirts. How is that going to work out? Um, more than likely to probably just, who knows. Be, yeah. I mean, who knows, but the last part was, uh, and the resources required to detect and prevent fraud. Yeah, I mean, all that stuff costs money, right? <laughs> well, I guess to prevent fraud, I mean, what? They didn't, they didn't say anything about, like, copycats or that kind of, like, I mean, that's technically fraud, too, but they're not, they didn't even mention it. I, I think you're reading too much into it. I think basically what they meant was... Um, um, copyright issues, the trademark issues, um, like like how do you how do you do fraud on merch, right? Yeah, you know, I, th I think I think you're reading too much into it. I think what they really mean is just the trademark, right? Having to um, look into what's trademarked and what's not, because that's again, that's you know, I don't know if they do it manually or if it's all auto review. Who knows? But um, um, regardless of how they do it, it's going to cost them money. Yeah. Although I will say those 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 people at Amazon, I, I almost cussed them out just now. Okay, <laughs> you 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 guys are weird, man. I have a shirt right now uh, that's been on Amazon. It's been selling relatively well for the past six months, and I try to upload that design on the premium shirt, and they rejected it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's weird. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either, and. I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have to see what I, he said. I'm kind of thinking about it too much. Okay, well, maybe just a little. I want to figure out what these fees are. We want to see what they're covering, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it'll be nice, but see, that's the way Amazon operates, though, right? They're always very secretive, right? Like they don't ever tell you how their algor you know, algorithm works, and you know, that's just how they are, right? You know, they they make changes without any announcements, and then everyone gets pissed and frustrated. They, they've been doing that for years. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, with FBA and everything, I mean, we've seen this many times before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, you you, you did get a comment though. Oh, you did a couple of comments. Um, and see what you think. So Casey says uh, Amazon needs our help. We have to give up more of our royalties so they can cover these fees. Um, Shred guy yeah, says basically. seriously? Question mark. You're not taking a loss. This is free money for all of you. No, that that's actually a good way to look at it. It's not free though. I wouldn't <laughs> say it's free. You do have to put work in. And and reseller niche, uh, I think this is a great thing. A lot of people will jump off the platform and less competition. Yes, I I I, I already see that happening. Um, you know, I was talking to a friend. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, and you know, I was talking to him about a week ago before even the announcement came out. And um, I was just checking in on him, and he was like, man, I haven't done anything with merch in the last few weeks because he was getting frustrated, right? Like, he's been on it for, like, about a year now, and he hasn't been seeing the results like yeah. some of the other people. And he, he just said, I haven't done anything in a couple of months. So I think I think people are getting frustrated, and now people are really getting frustrated, and, they, you know, they're just going to do something else, which is good because then, you know, again, it'll, you know, for people like you and I who take it seriously, you know, less competition and – um, it'll be a better platform for us, right? Yeah. 
yeah, but that's true too. Yeah, but I think I think on the bottom of that there was something about an affiliate link, right? Like you can Oh yeah. Here's the thing about that. I mean, yeah, you can make money using an affiliate link for your own shirts. The thing is it's so hard, right? Like you need to have like a well established website that that just generates tons of traffic. If you don't have that, it, it really is difficult. You'd have to be like BuzzFeed or something like yeah, it's it's so hard. Um, so so they kind of put it in there to say, oh well, you know, we're not that bad. You can still make money on your affiliate links, but it's it's tougher than you think. Yeah, and that's a, a very bottom. Amazon Associates earn an additional seven percent for yeah. each merch apparel purchase. Yeah, it's, it's easy really and free tough. to join. Hey, it's easy and free to yeah, join. Yeah, see, 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 they they make it sound like oh, you know, we're not taking too much away because you know we're giving you the affiliate links, but. Trust me, it, it, it that's a tough business to get into. <laughs> uh, and PC asked, um, uh, once they tax us out of being profitable, can we delete our designs so they cannot keep cashing in? I guess if you wanted to, I mean, if you wanted to delete your your designs, period, you can you can just delete all of them if you wanted to, and just leave. But why would you delete your design? I, I I don't get it. Um, I don't. I guess you're just talking about um. I guess eventually trying to get out of it or something. Let's say if if it's not really profitable at one point anymore. I, but it's probably down. See, I, I, I mean. Yeah. See, I don't think I don't. I mean, again, I think right now it seems bad because all we have is T-shirts. Again, I think once they start rolling out new products, it'll get better. I, I think everyone's just kind of, you know, they're, they're frustrated, right? Yeah. They're frustrated. You know, all we have is T-shirts and obviously long sleeves now and. You know, here's the thing. I'm glad that they're going to wait till after the holidays to implement this. Now, imagine if they'd done it before Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, oh, been... man I'd drive up to Seattle right now, and I'd go knock on Jeff Bezos' door, and I'd be like, yo, we need to talk. <laughs> I'd be pissed. I'd be livid. So I'm I'm glad they're doing it after the holidays. But, yeah. yeah I they, think, they were I think... very kind to, to do it after the holidays. Yeah. So, um I think things that get better, yeah, it's frustrating, but I, I'm pissed too. Trust me, I kicked my other dog. I kicked my dog when I saw that uh, that that uh, <laughs> message. I'm just joking. I didn't kick my dog. <laughs> I know that. Um, I mean, I think everyone is also slightly pissed at it, but at the same time, a lot of the people that have already been making quite a bit of money on it are are pretty positive about it, and that's why including us. I mean, it's a little mixture of both. I mean, you have to feel a little bit of both, right? You can't just Of course. Um so let's let's do this true or false. And let me see what what your answers are, Yang. So Okay. Um and see what you think. So I have a couple of statements and you can let me know. Um so the first one, um true or false, some sellers will leave merch by Amazon and focus on other print on demand platforms like Redbubble and now Etsy. True, and with with Etsy though, I, I feel like that's that's also opportunity wasted. I think for people that maybe haven't joined yet, like if you haven't set up your account, you know it exists, and you're just kind of like I don't know, waiting around for some reason for maybe to get approved for Amazon or something. I think Etsy can totally bring you some money, and right now while you're waiting, and build yeah, up no, store. I I just I just had my fiftieth sell. On Etsy the other day, um, you know, I'm not bringing in the thousands of dollars like I am on Amazon, but it's still, you know, it's five, six hundred dollars that I didn't have before, yeah. right? Um, it's a little more work. It's a little more frustrating at times, but it's, um, in my opinion, I think that's probably the next best platform out there. Yeah, I think I, I would rather go with Etsy. I think, like you said, then Redbubble and some of these other ones. I mean, your brother's doing Etsy, and he's having he's he's found some success in it, right? Yeah, I think he started selling some products. I've sold a couple. I think you've done really, really good, better than <laughs> better than we have. But I think it's it's a really good opportunity on that. Yeah, but yeah, um, true. Yeah. I, I think I think people are gonna leave. Okay. Um, what about okay? True or false? By simply raising your prices by two dollars. You will see the same amount of sales and or royalties for your, oh, uh, man. your making your adjustment two dollars more. You just want to fill in the gap, raise up your prices, and you'll be fine. See, that's a tough one. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say, oh man, so tough. 
I'm going to say false. I'll because, tell you why. Okay. I'll tell you why. Um, and we talked about design, obviously, on the show. If you have a design that's just, le- you know, that's not so good, right? You can get away with paying, what, fifteen ninety nine or whatever, right? Yeah. But imagine raising it two bucks. You know, yeah, it's a couple of bucks. But then the mindset is, well, you know, I'll I'll, I'll pay fifteen ninety nine, but seventeen ninety nine, I don't know. <laughs> P- people have that mindset, so I think um, I'm going to say no. I don't think they'll have the same results. What about? I know this is kind of random, part of the true or false thing. But what about paying like twenty five dollars for a shirt because you get the free shipping? And just going super high on all of your shirts and see what sells. And you get, yeah, at this point, if you price it at $25, you will get like a $9 royalty from it per shirt. Is it, tw- is it 25 or 35 25 Okay. Um, I don't see that happening either. <laughs> no. I, I think that's the tough part because you're, you're kind of thinking, I mean, like you said, it's the mindset of the customer. Yeah, fifteen ninety nine. But will I pay seventeen ninety nine for that design? Would I pay nineteen ninety nine for this shirt, or would I rather pay seventeen ninety nine? I mean, it's it's two dollars more. I think it really just depends. Mm-hmm. Um, I think See, on like, like the, the niche, for- the novelty, or a gift or something. Mm-hmm. It hits the See, right for- person. I mean, if it's like a one of a kind shirt. Right. Regardless of how bad the design is, I think if people want it, they'll pay the premium price. But I, but me personally speaking, my personal mindset is, um, if something looks good, like I don't mind paying a few extra bucks. But I think in general, overall, I think people are, have the mindset of if something looks bad, even if it's a couple of bucks, they're not going to pay for it. Yeah, I mean that's. Because you can even look at like a some, like a store like Nike right. online, right. or, or mm-hmm. like some people may not even pay twenty five dollars for a Nike T shirt. Right. I mean, if you have like like I said, it's a one of a kind shirt. There's no other shirt out there like it, right? Um, you can probably get away with it, but in general, I mean, if if it's just a regular bland T shirt, <laughs> and you're charging two dollars more than than what it was. Last week, I, I I don't see people doing it. Okay, that one's a tough one. I think that one's like a that's a conversation for another time. That's like a huge thing because that was that was a tough one. That was I mean, we're one. raising our prices by two bucks. I think that's the smart thing to do. You should do that. I think that will help you at least try to make some of that money back. So your higher royalties. It would be kind of interesting though to see what would happen um, if you uh, priced it super high. I wonder what would happen there and see what kind of sales come in. But who really knows? I mean, we'll have to see once uh, January 2018 that comes around. Um, true or false, this new price change eliminates the low baller strategy uh, that people were doing to get reviews and to tear up. No. Because you're still going to have a minimum price, right? Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, even though... So um, when the changes go in effect, what jan- mid January, my premium price, like for instance, my seventeen ninety nine shirt would be now nineteen ninety nine, right? Yeah. So their minimum price shirt now also goes up by a couple of bucks. They're still gonna price it low, regardless of what price it is, right? Yeah. Um, so no, I don't I, think I that's gonna change anything. When I first read it, we kind of saw that the example there. Now, if mm-hmm. they change it to where your minimum was fifteen ninety nine? Then I think it would be a different kind of like game changer, right? I mean, your lowest you can very go is fifteen ninety nine, and not twelve bucks or eleven bucks or wherever it was. I think that would help, but that's not the case. That was just an example, like we said. Okay. So in this case, I don't think it's going to eliminate the low baller strategy because people are still no. going to do it. I think they might even do it more now because if people are are hiring their their shirts by two dollars more to kind of fill up for that space. I think you might see more um, of hmm. the uh, low ones come out. Maybe, Interesting. Maybe not. 
Um, let me see. With uh, true or false, with the royalty change, it also means Amazon may be working to push more products in the near future. The change helps um, them grow outside of shirts, maybe eliminating other print-on-demand platforms. I don't know. About, well, first of all, true. I don't know about eliminating. Um, there are some companies out there that I know um, that I've tried. They haven't done anything for me. I can see those companies going away. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, Etsy, Printful, Redbubble. I don't see them. I don't see those guys going anywhere. Okay. Um, I think maybe some of the small t small companies they might diminish. Um, but I don't. You know, I don't see Etsy and Printful going away anytime soon. Yeah, I also agree on that one. I mean, they are going to push more products. I think, like you said, I think hoodies might be coming sooner than maybe we we think. Um, as far as other stuff goes, I have no clue with phone yeah. cases or hats or mugs. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, you know, and we talked about this before, right? Like for, you know, now that I'm doing Etsy, like I feel, uh, I feel like Amazon is like your online version of uh Walmart or a Walgreens or you know whatever right it's just it's just one of those stores you know just online stores that you just go and you buy something whenever you need it right you know Etsy is a little more it's a little more um you know crafty you know high end one of a kind stuff right mm -hmm. and 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 here's proof right like i've sold designs on Etsy that no one's even looked at on Amazon the same design I sold a bunch of them on Etsy but because again because and, and I can charge more and get away with it but because it's like I said Etsy has that a reputation of being um, you know it's handcrafted it's a boutique it's a one-of-a-kind yeah. right mm -hmm. Amazon you just go you know hey man this is something that I need right now <laughs> right I can, I can go on Amazon and find it and that's what I think will help you, though, if you're looking for like a gift that's like, I don't know, for a certain person and that shirt hits that certain person, maybe they will pay twenty one ninety nine for your shirt. Mm -hmm. I mean, who really knows until it's a customer mindset when it comes to that. It is. Uh, true or false, there are no other print-on-demand platforms that will give you access to as many customers as Amazon. That's true. I mean, Amazon is king just in, in e-commerce in general. I mean, I mean, I mean, who's, yeah, I mean, who's, I mean, who's next in line? I mean, Walmart's not doing uh, uh, print-on-demand. <laughs> Target's not doing print-on-demand. I mean, I think, I mean, in my opinion, I, I think maybe the next biggest print-on-demand company. It has to be Printful. I mean, I don't know the numbers, but it, I mean, I would just say it's Printful. Yeah, and I think this is this is like this is kind of why I think that they can do different royalty changes, and why a lot of us, of course, we're just going to go ahead and adapt, just like you would on FBA, because they have access to so many people, um, and you're not really going to even find a lot of this organic traffic like you would on any other no. platform. So yeah, I mean, you're roll with the change. Yeah, I mean, um, for instance, if you were to have a Shopify store. And have your own business. One of the things that you have to do, um, even though you know, you know, you got your own platform, you have your own website, but you have to drive traffic to it, right? Mm -hmm. Which right. is like totally another. And that's a totally yeah. other part yeah, of the business. Because think about it. There's over a billion websites on the internet. So even if you do have a Shopify store, how is that? How are people going to find your website? out of over a billion websites and that's the beauty of Amazon is like everyone knows Amazon right yeah. they get organic traffic yes sir all right true or false um, you can probably still sell your shirt at say 19.99 maybe even 21.99 with a proper you know with the proper keywords and a great design that's all you really need. You think you can pretty much be set to sell and make money. Yes. So just decent keywords, but great design. Great design. Well, it depends on the niche too, right? You know, we yeah, you know, but you know, I guess you know, with the price change, like, do you think that's good enough? I guess to also pretty much stay in the long haul 
again, I, I'm just I'm using myself as an example. Like I said, if 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 there's something that I like and the design's good, I'm willing to pay that couple extra bucks. Okay. Now I don't know about everyone else, um, but if it's just you know we, you know if it's random text, you know would I pay that extra couple of bucks? No. But if it's a good design, I'll pay that extra couple of bucks. Yeah. I think I think great design is probably gonna, is eventually going to be what you're going to need to last. I think in the platform period. That that that's that's the way that's the route that Amazon's steering this right now. If you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, all right. So here's a here's a random one. It's not a true or false, but would you rather? Would you rather stick to this current system to where you name your own price, or give Amazon the control? To where every standard shirt is, let's say, seventeen ninety nine. Every premium shirt is twenty one ninety nine. Every long sleeve shirt is twenty eight ninety nine. You cannot change the price. You stick with Amazon's pricing. You collect that royalty. Nobody gets to change their price. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I don't think Amazon would ever do something like that. But but your but to answer your question, I would prefer having full control of my pricing. Okay, why? I don't know. I mean, because I mean, I've you know for the what for the past year, I've been making good money with the what the amount of shirts that I have live, right? I mean, that's that that's the thing about me, right? Is that I've been consistently doing over three thousand dollars in royalties because, again, in my opinion, I think I have really good design, so I can set my prices a little higher compared to someone else. And let's say the standard is um, seventeen ninety nine. So you would be making three eighty seven with this new royalty change. Oh man, um, it's a sweatshop, man. <laughs> but in this case, like I would actually disagree. I would actually want them to price it for me. Why is that though? I would want them to price it for me, to, you know, so that it's for everybody. Everybody has to stay with that same price because mm -hmm. then I think design would definitely win at that point because all the shirts are the exact same price. I see your point. Okay, you would see I got you. all of them laid out at once and you're going to be like, okay, that one's crap, that one's crap, that one's crap. I like the way that one looks. I'm buying that one. But you can also say, you know, uh, uh, you can also say, well, because my design is better, I can get away with charging more, right? Yeah, but then it comes into play like what you talked about. Uh, well, do I really want to pay the two dollars more, mm. or can I just get this one that kind of looks like it? True. So instead of giving that customer a choice, now you're just giving them a choice, design wise. You know, you know what I would rather see um, is everyone having the same daily upload minimum, whether it's twenty a day or thirty a day, right? Yeah. Because cause I, I, think, I think if Amazon does that, see, I think it's bad that we're talking about this because I, I feel like Amazon either watches your channel or listens to the podcast and they get, and they get these ideas. But I think, because um, I think if they do that, if they control how many uploads, they can control how many shirts are, are live on Amazon because it's getting ridiculous, man. It, it, I mean, it's flooded with just nonsense, man. It's just There's garbage out there. Well, that's what eBoy is saying here on on the live chat. He's just saying, do people really care about design when so much crap is selling? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Look, we've we've talked about this. Just because a shirt with a bad design has a BSR, like you don't know the whole story behind it, right? You know, they could have bought, you know, a bunch of them to get, you know, to get out of the 10 tier or the 25 tier. Uh, you know, they could have had their cousin Bob and Aunt Sally buy a bunch. Who knows, right? And then once the once the BSR kicks in, who knows what the algorithm does, right? As far as, um, as far as, um, uh oh, I got a phone call. But as far as, um, <laughs> as far as trying to, um, getting sales. Yeah. And there's, that's a, just one of the things we really don't even know about um, with Amazon is is that what people are searching for, um, people are talking about throttling, which we've mentioned before, um, other stuff with uh, keywords, what are the right keywords, how's that going to work, 
Um, even different questions on that, which is just kind of like an unknown part, which I really don't understand how it's kind of unknown, like with, with the Amazon stuff, with keywords, like. You know, I think, I think keywords, look, again, I've said this a hundred times, if not a thousand. I am not a keyword expert. I'm not a keyword strategist. I think if you just use common sense, right, and not do something stupid like uh, keyword stuffing, but if you use common sense and use good words that's, that's associated with what you're trying to sell, I think I think that's all you have to do. I, I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think, you know, there's, you know, I don't think you need like a PhD in the Amazon keyword, uh, uh, you know, marketing. I really don't. I, I think as long as you just write something decent with strong words that's associated with what you're trying to sell, I think, I think, you know, I think, I think that's solid. And I've had good luck doing that. Okay, very good point. Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures donated two dollars to our uh, live Yo, show. Hold on. I get, I want you to PayPal me a, a dollar after the show. <laughs> All right, I'll get, and then minus fees, you'll get like a couple of cents. I don't care. I, I, I want I want my share. You 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 selfish hustler <laughs> <for> hacks. <laughs> You're like you're not gonna say what I wanted to say. Uh, I almost cussed you out there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so let's give some people. We talked about our little true or false. What are some actions that they can take now for 2018? Like what? Okay, now we have this royalty change. Um, what should they do? What are you gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna raise my prices. Okay. Um, and, um, I'm going to continue putting out good designs, uh, and I'm just going to wait until, um, we get the hoodies and, and, the, and the sweatshirts, and then I might drop the prices on my t-shirts because I know I'm going to sell hoodies and sweatshirts. Okay. So then that'll be the difference then. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to pry, I'm going to. I'm not going to stick to low prices or anything like that. I mean, some of my like text based shirts aren't like super low. They're still at like 16, 17 range. But I think even those now, I'm probably going to bump up to like 18, 19. Some, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any shirts. Do you have any shirts over 20 bucks right now? On premium. On premium. But what about just standard? No. Uh, the highest I'll go in standard is nineteen ninety nine. Okay. So I think I'm going to actually try to do, I'm kind of interested to see what would happen for like $25 shirts and see if they would sell or not. I mean, not like simple text-based, but maybe some of the better uh, t-shirts out there. See what happens for 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I mean, we have a whole month and a couple of weeks uh, before that even kicks in. So, um, I would say, look, it's the holiday season. Enjoy the royalties that you're going to make in December now, and then we'll worry about that here in a few weeks. Yeah. Um, again, I'm just grateful that they decided to wait until after Christmas to to do that. Um, otherwise, I would have been really pissed. All right, so Q&A. Uh, anybody in the live chat, you have questions, we're going to answer them. If you want to throw those in right now, we're uh, – Kind of what maybe like a good uh, 12 13 minutes left. Um, so e boy asked, uh, what product besides shirts do you think would kill it on merch? We talked about hoodies, and I think you're tank the tops. tank tops, yeah. Tank tops, I don't know why people still buy tank tops on my uh, on my Etsy store. Oh, yeah, yeah, for some reason, I still get tons of um, um, sales for my uh, for tank tops. Okay. Yeah, I think tank tops for sure. I mean, long sleeve. I think it's kind of like a certain person because not everybody likes long sleeve shirts. Yeah, no, I, I think long sleeve. I, I, I was. It was a little weird that they came out with the long sleeve first, but I'm just glad that we even have that option. Um, hoodies is good, um, but tank tops. I think. T I think the next um, product that they should offer us is tank tops. They probably won't because they're thinking is well it, it's it's you know it's fall and you know we're gonna get into winter here shortly but people are buying them yeah and you know what it's less storage for them because they're obviously less material raw material in, in in Amazon's language 
Yeah. You wear a lot of tank tops or no? <laughs> I mean, look at these guns, of course. <laughs> You're wearing like three shirts right now. What are you talking about, man? I got a t-shirt underneath and a sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let me see. Let me go into here and see what people are saying for live chat. Yeah, totally tank tops for the gym. Um, yeah, people that like to work out, show off the guns. And uh, Sarah says, let me go up here. Um, I have a feeling Amazon won't let newbies like me in until next year i guess i'll just have to focus my design based on etsy for now uh uh you know don't don't get your hopes down um there, i saw a post yesterday someone just got approved that's kind of crazy i think i think i saw that too so i guess yeah. they are letting people in even so though. someone just got approved and, and and a lot of people are getting tiered up um in the lower tiers okay very cool. You just got teared up. You were saying um, um on your second account. So. Yeah, I just got teared up there. So, and they yeah. weren't doing and they weren't doing that uh, last year. This time, this time last year. So yeah, um, don't you know? So get your hope. You know, don't get your hopes down. You know, be positive. It could happen. Could happen. Um, uh, Texas Gal Treasures ask, when do you think they'll open up worldwide merch shipping? Oh gosh, who knows? Um, <laughs> I mean, they would need. They would need more of these machines and more fulfillment centers um, abroad, right? Yeah. So who knows? I mean, who knows what they have planned? So. But you don't think that would probably be the next? Well, I don't know. I think there's a lot of stuff that they can do. Well, this here, this is what I'll say. Um, Amazon does have a UK market. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, that's all I'll say. They do have a UK market. Um, I will say that. Now, I mean, there's a, I mean, there's other countries, obviously, you know, Asia, South America, and all that. But who knows? UK does have one, though. Uh, Christine asked, any tips for someone considering selling shirts on Etsy? Um, I have a well-established Etsy shop, but from jewelry, um, I guess. Uh, any tips as far as that goes? I would probably say uh, before Yang answers, number one, definitely try to go through the steps <laughs> to fill up everything possible because Printful and all that is like totally different from just a regular seller on Etsy. Like I thought I had to upload like uh, what like tracking numbers and stuff like when I was selling because I was selling also like a regular Etsy store and then Printful, it's a totally different thing. So I would definitely read and go through all the steps to do that right um yeah you know and and i'm not gonna lie like i still have to go into etsy and read you know all the tos um because from from my understanding and I, and margaret even said it i don't know if she's still in the chat she yeah. said etsy is really strict about um about how people conduct their business she said once they terminate you you're terminated forever um, and, and, and I've heard, um, um, I've heard, uh, SC gives you a few chances, you know, they'll, they'll let certain things slide a few times, but then once they terminate you, it's, it's for life, you're done. Um, so I would say, um, again, just conduct your business properly, you know, no, no shortcuts, you know, do everything by the book. All right, and next one is from let's see, uh, Neutron sixty four. Have you had any experience success using uh, marketing for Facebook or Instagram? No, but you know what? And and I think I think I mentioned this to you. Um, I'm getting into influencer marketing. I found an influencer, someone that I actually follow. Um, not going to mention any names. We've been in contact. Uh, we've been exchanging emails. I've already paid him. Um, Bought us, bought some swag for him. I'm gonna get that shipped out to him here in a few days. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. But as far as Facebook marketing, um, I've tried it, nothing. Um, I haven't done Instagram marketing, but I'm really excited about this influencer marketing. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. I'm pretty excited. All right, so you let, yeah, let us know. Sarah, quick Etsy question for Young. Do you think it's worth it to charge higher and offer free shipping for Etsy or have the buyer pay for shipping themselves? 
I just I just have the buyer pay uh, for shipping. Um, and here's the thing: you you actually make a little profit on the shipping. Because it's like a it's like a standard uh, shipping amount, isn't it? Yeah, depending on what the item is. Yeah, because uh, uh, so basically, my SC store is set up um, by default, like whatever Printful says. Like, you know, their shipping price is what I put on my SC store, mm -hmm. and and based on that, um, because I charge what Printful charges, I might make like a I don't know, eighty cents a dollar on the shipping. Mm -hmm. So I always charge for shipping. Yeah. I do the same thing. I try for yeah. shipping. I just I just do what uh, what, what Printful does. I just I just uh, uh, relay that over to my SC store, basically. Yeah, you just listen to whatever Printful tells you. Mm -hmm. Do whatever they tell you to do. Exactly. Um, so Richard not always, guesses. <laughs> not always. Uh, Richard says I've seen a lot of people. Um, well, people say that they've opened shop and they got shut down real fast on Etsy. Yeah, I think um, I know a lot of people were getting shut down because they were using VAs. But this is what I was told. Um, here's the thing. If you guys are using VAs, I was told, um, okay, I'm not an expert. I was told that there's nothing wrong with using VAs, but you have to be honest and upfront with Etsy about that from the get-go. You have to let them know, um, you know, Joe Schmo is part of my team. And you have oh, yeah. to list him as a team member. Um, and you know, just again, you have to be upfront about everything from the get go, no cutting corners, nothing, no shortcuts. You have to be honest. And if you do that, I've heard that you won't have any problems. See, I don't have a problem with VAs um, because I don't use VAs. Um, um, but, um, I was, I was told you can, but just, you have to be honest about it. Yeah. Um, totally agree on that. All right. So any last questions, let us know in the live chat before we go. Uh, we got like five minutes left. Um, anything you want to add as far as royalty changes? No, it sucks. But I think, I think in the long run with, with the new products coming out, things will get better. Yeah, I agree too. I mean, it's just another thing you just kind of have to adapt with. It's kind of like FBA. Some people stay, some people leave. Um, I left because merch came along. But people are still killing on FBA, so I mean, it's not like mm -hmm. things are just totally dead just because they change different things or restrict different people on on accounts or anything. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't really worry about it, but I would definitely try to figure out what's going to work for you in 2018 and try some new things uh, in your merch business with different prices or uh, or ads or something like that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um. And uh, any last thing, I guess other thing I want to talk about, merch coaching. If you're still interested in merch by Amazon coaching from me or Yang, go to merchminds.com and uh, you can sign up there. We have a questionnaire. You have to answer those questions um, and then we'll contact you to schedule you in for coaching. And uh, you, who did you coach last? Um, uh, Kent. Listen. Kent, that's right. Uh -huh. I, I uh, coached Kent. Um really excited and that that was that was a good one he's he, he's under 10 tier um but his mindset and i and i love his mindset man he he's, he's like look i know i'm not going to see results overnight but you know I, i'm in, i'm in this for the long for the long haul um and so i love his mindset um i told him exactly everything that i do as far as merch and um he was super excited um it's and it sounds like like he he's he already had everything implemented, um, but um, I gave him a bunch of tricks that I was doing to help my uh, merch account out, and um, so um, so he's super excited. And uh, in fact, he emailed me this morning. You know, he asked some questions about Etsy, and um, I helped him with that. So um, yeah. yeah, he's here in the live chat. Kent, <laughs> he says, "Hey, Coach yeah. Young." Yes. <laughs> That's my so, boy. Yep. So Ken's here in the live chat. And Sarah, a quick question. Do you have different shops under different email accounts for different niches for Etsy? No. No. You just have it in a wonder one. I, I have it under one also. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's probably the best way to do it. All right. Young, before we leave, where can they contact you? Uh, they can contact me at young at geekhustle.com or you can go to geekhustle.com. 
uh, sign up for my newsletter or just go into Facebook groups and you, you know you guys can tag me there um, message me um, I try and respond to every message but again if you got a product or a service just go to the new Facebook group that I created <laughs> All right, and you're already here, Hustler Hacks on YouTube. You can email me, hustlerhacks the number one at gmail.com. Uh, we're done. Live show. Have a good and happy Thanksgiving. Eat a bunch of turkey for me, Nyang. And we'll see you guys next week.